Okay. <laughs> um, Tottenham one, Manchester United three. Your thoughts on the game? Just totally depressed with Tottenham Hotspur. I'm sick of seeing us get beaten from winning positions. I'm sick of the fact that we'd have a defence. I I'm, wouldn't be surprised if Harry goes in the summer. It's just depressing, Kev. It's so bad. We are so bad. Well, let's let's try to find some light in the dark. So, I mean, at halftime, you were leading at halftime. And yeah. absolutely, I, I, I mean, I was furious at halftime. We should have won by more, actually, I, the, the way I, I looked at it. Um, we, we were so hard done by. Uh, for the VAR decision and the, the goal disallowed, but you were leading at halftime. You scored that goal. It was a, it was, it was quite a nice goal. Was there any positives in the first half? I agree. It was a nice goal. It was a bit lucky that we had that their first, that their first goal was disallowed. But you know how on earth we can't hold on to leads is just beyond me. It is just so annoying. I think maybe it's because there's no fans. I hope it's because there's no fans, but I feel like my passion is like being eroded every week because mm. like, you know, Pochettino, obviously we had our ups and downs with Pochettino, but like in those first three, four, five seasons, three, three four seasons, there were like everyone was pulling in the same direction and 99% of the time it, it came off. Yeah. And yeah, we didn't win anything, but we were playing beautiful football and the team looked happy. And now the team just don't look happy. And like that really does, for me anyway, filter through. Because I'm just like, you you guys, like half of you look like you don't want to be there. Half of you ain't good enough to be there. Speaking of Pochettino, did you see how good Paris Saint-Germain have become? They beat Bayern Munich in, in, in the Champions League. And then it was, yeah. oh, oh my God, it was so good. Well, you, should, just... you, you should really go support uh, PSG now. They're, well, they're my second team now. <laughs> Well, I say I, I actually they're my third team because my second team is basically whoever's playing Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that P PSG game against Bayern Munich and I, I had that thought in my mind. This is how Chris would want Spurs to become like. I just want us to play like how we played in 2017-18. Yeah. You mentioned that story already. It has been revealed that Harry Kane would want to leave Tottenham Hotspur this summer if you fail to get a Champions League place for next season. The fact that he would want to leave, does that break your heart a bit? Totally. It totally breaks my heart. But I I, I would wish him nothing but um, the best. Harry Kane can leave and he'll always be one of the greatest ever players because of what he's done. Mm. And, and, I, and, you know, it's been said by loads of fans. I don't know any fan that wouldn't wish him well, like pat him on the back and say, Thank you for so many years of giving us so much. I guess it all comes down to one question. Is it still possible? I mean, the Champions League place, you're now four point, uh, you're now six points off fourth place with seven games to go. And Everton are two points behind you with two two games in hand. So with Tottenham, it's, it's like one one day is, is all going to happen. The other day is not, it's not mm. going to happen. So is it still possible? I mean, if you do get Champions League, there's a, a big opportunity, there's a big possibility that he's going to stay. I think there's an overwhelming chance. I'd say like 75 to 25 chance that we won't get into the Champions League simply because of how repetitive our football is, how repetitive the mistakes are, the fact that Jose changes the defence every match, so like there is no consistency. We're just sitting ducks. Any team that needs a couple of points, come and pick off Tottenham and there you go. Given Kane would probably want to stay in the Premier League, it gives you Man City, Chelsea or maybe Man United. This team, they are in, in chase for Erling Haaland, but perhaps only one of these teams will get him. So how would you feel if he ends up in one of these teams? Def is totally devastated. Because for me, my love of the game and my love of Tottenham has, for the last couple of years has been so bound up with Harry Kane. It's like you're taking the very most special gem out of the crown jewels. Do you know what I mean? So it's going to be very, very, very hard. Yeah. But I think because of that, I could actually only really see him moving abroad 
And for me, the most obvious place would be PSG because it's near, because like, you know, Paris is, is close. Mm. Poch is there. They are probably in the best position financially to buy him. And how would you feel after today if he goes to Man United? I would just will be really, really desperately sad, but also offering him no ill will and totally understanding it. He's a club, he cemented himself as a club legend. But to be the best, he wants to win stuff. And he he isn't going to win stuff at Tottenham. He just isn't. Is that really what he's going to look back on? When he's 35, 36, and he's think and he's once he's about to retire, I think yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Tottenham's all-time goal scorer, but I won the League Cup. That's all I have to show from my career, and I could have been the very, I could have been seen in the same esteem as Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah. The end. I mean, my last question was going to be. Can you blame him? But apparently not. I hope and pray that he doesn't. Mm. But I couldn't blame him. Really good. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Kevin. I'm going to go and cry myself to sleep. Now. <laughs>